Hey, Kevin with New Standard here. Um, I'm going to continue our video series about the, uh, the five freedoms. Today we're covering the first one, which is actually freedom from hunger and thirst. Now the way to define that, um, the way they put it, it's not my wording, but by ready access to fresh water and a diet to maintain full health and vigor. Okay, kind of a fancy way of making sure that we give them food and water as they want and require. Well, here it is. It's a machine that does that. Um, if you've watched any of our other videos, this is called an electronic sow feeder. Feed station is another way to look at it, call it. Um, basically, the animal will come in here and get fed a diet that is specifically sweet to her needs. Depending on her age, size, weight, we get to choose how much feed she's supposed to get so she doesn't get too skinny and she doesn't get too fat. So right there, by definition, we're doing exactly that. We're making sure they have feed. Not only does this allow them to get feed, but it actually collects that in such a way that if they're not getting feed for any reason, you're, you as the producer are told, you get actually emailed, uh, it comes up as an alarm saying, you need to go deal with something. So it doesn't just allow them to get fed, it ensures that they actually are and notifies you if there's anything wrong with it. Uh, something that sets this thing, this machine, a different uh, or apart from some of the others, is the fact that it is food and water together, not just dry food dropping down here, and as I've said in other videos, essentially torturing the animals, forcing them to leave by denying them water. That right there breaks that freedom. If you've got a system that isn't providing water together with the feed, you can't check that box that you're supposed to check. So something to keep in mind when you're, you're looking to, to design your barn and incorporate some equipment in it. First one on the list happens to be freedom from hunger and thirst. You need to make sure both of those boxes are checked, not just I gave her food and she can walk over there and get water. No, no. She is not supposed to get thirsty, so thirsty that she's forced to leave this thing. She's going to be comfortable the whole time, which is what we do. Now obviously during that's feeding time, we have free access to water down at the end. There's water nipples over here, there's water nipples. They can go on a hot day when they don't want to eat. During the afternoon, they can go eat in the evening, whatever. If they just need water, they have access to that as well. So between the meet up feed station and our pen design, We've basically checked those boxes, we've highlighted, we've circled them, we've stamped them, we've made sure that is top priority, feed and water. So that's how we take care of that one. We'll see you next week for the next week.